If you're looking for a high-end 4K gaming system to build right now but also that you can upgrade in the future without any issues, this is going to be the right build for you. I will show you all the parts and why I picked them and also I will explain to you why these parts are going to be great for right now but as well for the future. Now if your budget is below $3000 which is totally understandable because this is an expensive system, I have a website where you can find the perfect PC build for your favorite game and your favorite budget. All you have to do is pick your favorite game, pick your budget and you will get the best price to performance build for that budget with the expected FPS at different resolutions. That being said, let's start. For the CPU, I picked the Ryzen 9 7900X. This is one of the highest and latest AMD CPUs and it's also going to be great for content creation. Now, it's not going to be as good as the 13900K, but here we have much more upgradeability with the AM5 platform. If you decided to get the i9 13900K, you will have to upgrade the motherboard if you wanted any other CPU. But here on the AM5 platform, AMD said that they are going to continue the platform at least until 2025. Now, if AMD is telling the truth and you want to change the CPU down the line, you won't have to change the motherboard at least until 2025, which is a much better upgradable path than Intel has. Now, for the CPU cooler, I picked the MSI Mag Core Liquid 360 all in one liquid cooler, going for 110 bucks. This is an all black build and I love the way this liquid cooler looks. For the motherboard, I picked the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi Fi AM5 motherboard. This one has 3M.2 slots and a maximum memory speed of 6600 megahertz, which might be important down the line if DDR5 memory becomes the standard for gaming. Talking about memory, we have the G-Skill Ripjaws S5 32GB kit 2x16 of DDR5 6000 megahertz CL36 memory. This is one of the best high-end kits out there in terms of value, going for 144 bucks. Now it's expensive, but it's still a great kit. For the storage, I picked the Samsung 9. 80 Pro with heatsink 2TB of M.2 Gen 4 SSD. This is really fast even for content creators. Now if you're just going to do gaming, you can easily step down to a Gen 3 drive saving around $100, but if you don't know if you're going to create content, you want to have that option down the line and you don't want to buy another M.2 SSD down the line, this is the way to go. And if you're a content creator already, this one is really fast even for your needs. Also if you need more storage, feel free to add more since you have 3 M.2 that two slots. For the graphics card and the most important component for gaming, I picked the RTX 4080 16 gig GPU. Now you can go with the 4090 but the rest of the build is not going to be as upgradable and also between the 4080 and the 4090, yes maybe there's a gaming difference but trust me you won't notice this difference even at 4K because of how fast both GPUs are. This one is going for $1300 at the time that I'm recording this video and it's going to deliver the performance that you need. If you're a content creator, this GPU is going to be one of the best options as well because of the optimization that NVIDIA GPUs have with most video editing programs. And if you're a gamer, you need to buy a 4K 144Hz monitor at least to take advantage of this GPU. If you're going for 1440p, I think that this is an overkill. I would save that money, go for a lower end GPU and have that money to upgrade the GPU down the line and buy a new monitor. Then for the case, I picked the Corsair 7000D Airflow. Now, there are a bunch of cases that you can choose from. I picked this one mainly because of the design, the all black design, and it looks amazing, but feel free to go with another case if you don't like the design of this one, or maybe you like another one more. Don't worry about it, you will have the links not only to these components in the video description, but also with some alternatives. Also, this case has plenty of space for next gen GPUs. Last but not least, for the power supply, I picked the Be Quiet 3 Power 11 1200 Watt 80 Plus Platinum Power Supply. Now, for the 4080 and Ryzen 9 7900X, you may need around 850 to 1000 Watt of wattage. But considering that this is an upgradable system, I put the 1200 Watt one for you not to worry in the future if you want a new GPU. And I don't believe next gen GPUs and CPUs are going to require more than 1200 Watts. But 
but I can't predict the future. So if that happens, then you're going to need to upgrade the power supply as well. If you want the best GPU CPU combo in the future, but in the near future, I don't think that's going to happen. So 1200 watts is going to be all that we're going to need for this build and for the future. Now the total price will be 2,943 packs for this beast of a PC build. Like I said before, if you want the best of the best right now, you can get a 4090. But like I said, the rest of the build is not going to be as great as this one. Here, you can basically do anything right now and anything in the future. You can change the GPU, the CPU, you can add more storage, add more RAM. There are plenty of options that you can do in the future with this system. And also, if you want to do 4K gaming, 4K streaming or content creation, you can do it easily without any issue. Now, if you're a professional content creator, I do recommend you consider 64 gigs of RAM instead of 32. But other than that, this system is great for everyone that has $3,000 in their pocket for a PC build. And if you want to upgrade this PC down the line, the first thing I recommend you upgrading if you're a gamer is going to be the GPU. And if you're a content creator, the first thing I recommend you upgrading is the CPU. And it's worth mentioning that you can save some money with this system if you go with Gen 3 SSD or even Gen 4, but not this high level of Gen 4. You can also go with a 56 sandwich megahertz first RAM kit and save some money there. You can go with a cheaper M5 motherboard and if you're a gamer you can get away with the Ryzen 5 76 and with X. Overall you can save around 500 bucks especially if you're just a gamer and you don't feel like you will be upgrading a lot. You will have all the links to these components in the video description. Maybe when you're watching this video some components are actually more expensive or cheaper so I do recommend you checking the latest pricing. And like I said if you want a cheaper PC build you can either go to my website or watch my PC build videos. I will leave you the PC build playlist in the top right of the screen for you to check it out thank you guys for watching and if you got value out of the video leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit that bell button so you get notified when i upload this type of content which i do from three to five times a week thank you guys for watching thank you for your support and i will see you on the next one